Hey designers, what's going on? My name is Fime MD and I'm a senior product designer in Toronto. And today I will be designing a food detail page on Figma. First off, you're going to go to this new design file right over here. Click, call it cooking app, frame and select Apple 11 Pro. Now right after this, the best thing to do is add a new page and call it for me. Over here, you can put any inspiration UI design that you have liked or any sorts of resources, sitemap or whatever it may be, you can just put it here. You can also let your coworkers or your clients know that do not touch this page here, this is only for me. However, you can view the prototype or even the UI design right over here. This is something that I've learned this year. My boss has done this and he's a very big Figma guy, so therefore he taught me a couple of his tricks. So I was like, you know what, why don't I share it with you guys? Now before jumping into the design, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out card sorting for this page and that's very important. Essentially what a card sorting is, adding content that will be used for that detailed page. For example, here, what do we need? We need a product detailed image of the food, nutrition, tips, uh, calorie count, things like that. So let's go ahead and add that in this page right here. By the way, you can word this however you want because this is only specifically catered to you. Right, so I'm going to do food detailed image. Oh my God, I said four. I think I'm kind of getting hungry right now. <laughs> Number two, I'm going to have header and footer, name of food, which is obviously the title, star rating, 4.5 food type, uh, calories, duration, so how long would it take to cook this? 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, etc. So now I'm just going to list all of them one by one. These are the lists that we are going to include and sort it out before we jump on the UI design. Doing it this way is so you don't make future mistakes. Header, which will have back a favorite button so you can save it. Number two is food image. Number three would be cards. Card one will have title, rating, food type, calories, and duration. Start off with ingredients. All right, so card one will have this, have tabs. One eternity later. I am quite happy with this. This is going to be my reference point and it's going to help me out a lot while I am designing. Number one is we're going to focus on these three things only. Okay, now let's do six. 45, a little bit longer. Okay, perfect. This is where the background image is going to go, by the way. Now we're gonna have back arrow here and then favorite icon here. Easiest thing for me is to find a picture right away. Find some cool image. Awesome. If you don't know by now, this is one of the best websites getting icons. Icon Monster. These two are my go-to websites. I'll link this website and the other website in the description below so you can go ahead and download it. And let's make some circles. Okay, so the best way to do this in Figma is hold control shift L or command shift L if you're using Mac or you can just click on the layer right click and then find a way to lock it this obviously on the right hand side you can see the shortcuts it's best to know the shortcuts that you'll be a faster designer so now that I have this locked I'm going to create a circle make sure to play around with the sizes 55 white decrease it to 10% now I'm going to take this arrow I'm just gonna cut it and paste it right here I'm going to change the color to white so it's more visible Perfect, and then right click and rotate that boy. Click on both of the layers, the arrow and the circle and make sure that it's properly aligned. I think this should be good. Whatever the spacing that you decide to use here, make sure you use it on the, on the other end. So what you need to do is create a grid because I'm just designing it for fun. I didn't add it, but in this case, I'm going to do that for you guys. Click on the frame name on the right hand side where it says layout grid. Click on that bad boy here and you'll see a bunch of red lines. You go right to columns. It's more visible now. Since we're doing mobile, you'll put number four. 10% is fine. I don't really like the red color. 35, perfect. Make sure you have it as stretch. Margin should be 35 here. This is what a responsive grid is on mobile. Take this dude right here. Duplicate it halfway point like this is what I'm gonna do right here. I'm gonna take this dude right here. Right click. Paste to replace is amazing. Look at that. We're gonna have to make Make sure the icons are similar in terms of the height ruler that you have and you click on it you get to bring the scale which is great the way to delete this is you got to double click on it and just press delete and it is gone yeah just put trigger right here yeah there you go so I'm going to take this guy name it save take this dude right here name it back this can be called food image yeah see so far so good create 
a card here so that should be fine let's add a drop shadow so it stands out so click on effects the first thing you'll get is a drop shadow yeah let's make blur stronger let's try 35 let's just do a negative 10 this dude we might need to increase the color of it 45 should be good i would want to add some sort of a black gradient in the background here i'm gonna take this dude right here lock it it is still there but you can't really touch it so it's locked and it's not visible it's okay so let's take this dude right here and do that click on fill go to linear see see yeah this has to be completely black a little bit of fade like that should be fine now let's worry about adding the title on the card this is one of my favorite weekend breakfast by the way french toast with bananas and blueberries with a little bit of maple syrup actually a lot of maple syrup and uh nutella on it i have been fan of this one let's make it bold bring it right here let's increase it five and then we need rating 17 by 17 is fine let's see what color would i want let's stick to this one i can delete this because it's already there it's enough for me file duplication one two three four i'm gonna take this guy right here and make it regular 18 should be four let's change this color to here we go it's quite bad right now yeah Okay, so far so good. And I'm going to take all these guys here and name it Star. All right, good. So far so good. I hope you guys have reached at this point. I'll take the rectangular one here. Let's put 15. Put this to Sate. This is the food type. Make it regular. 15 should be great. Western is centered here. Let's see, this is 15 that can stay. This dude here. I think that should be much better. Let's increase this to, I think it should be like a hundred. And now have some breathing space. Perhaps make it a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna duplicate that. And this one is going to be calories. 450 cal, short name. We can add an icon. Perfect, get rid of that. Do this, put the flame here. I just pressed I so I can grab the same color. And then I can just take my homeboy and do exactly that. I might have to shrink the icon a bit call it food type we can now center it which means all this guy should as well this can be like 30 minutes make sure the icons are always svg if you're also sending logos or you're working with logos make sure the logos are also svg boom boom the only thing that i don't really like the fact how the card is really tight so and we may have to break the rules this guy right here boom now we'll make sure everything else is just like that i'm gonna go right here click on this dude which will space out all those three objects properly make sure to group all of them good part number two before we do that let's just resize 195 and now we can put this dude back in to card one perfect and then just lock it part number two is going to be ingredients i'm just gonna take this font here i literally don't start my fonts from scratch i just copy paste from my existing design this will be called in ingredients let's put this to number 20 do semi bold here that should be fine i'm thinking of doing tabs exactly like this so as you kind of like go along so you can click on it if i click on the second tab this information will, will come up and the third one that will be slide sure you have seen it in other apps so let's go ahead and name them this will be called directions and then we have tips so and then the last one should be called nutrition now make sure it's properly so direction tips and nutrition doesn't need to be semi bold i want to show the users that what has been already pre-selected so we can make them regular therefore you can see that this one stands out more than this one so now i'm just going to grab the ingredient content from this website copy it and i'll do this check mark style so i'm going to stick with that like this also need a check mark so let's get all of that so i'm going to grab my shape fine get five you can do a stroke copy this one paste that there remove this one make sure that it's well aligned go back here again click on align start from here and go to the end point here perfect it's a good amount of space how many do we need so now make sure you have the remaining information added all the way throughout okay perfect so far so good now the best thing to do honestly is just group 
all these guys and then just select everything here you go back right here and then click on the second dude to make sure it's properly aligned which is extremely important when you are designing i want to have some sort of fade effect here so black shadows go ahead and copy that and go right here and paste it like this this dude has to be white so we should be very happy that we have completed now majority of it tabs check ingredients check card number two check 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 we are going to do popular mini cards of related food which should be definitely over 100 so let's do like uh, 125 we can add 15 the height is a bit longer let's make the height one tangent fill up this this section here you should name it popular in french toast let's do name and then star ratings let's do that let's put this to 15 decrease it we're going to duplicate this like that and then gonna lock this guy right here select all of them 20 should be fine let's take all of these guys 20 let's take a scale do that take this one here as well do it like that the second title name I already have the image, I'm just gonna apply it, it should be good. Let's go ahead and make that French toast. Quickly lock this, take this style, same effect here, make sure I lock it. Add the photo, start from here. And this is why having ruler is very important. We write copyright by MMD, this font. Click on this play button on the right hand side, present our work of art. Wonderful, look at that. You got the background image, you have the back arrow, save information about the food, ingredient direction, trips nutrition and then if you keep going down you'll see popular and uh, then your footer this space gap here is a lot but if you want you can decrease it that is it thank you so much for watching feel free to please share your figma link just click on the share project right there copy this link here you know paste it in the comment i would love to check it out what you guys have done and thank you so much for watching my name is prime md and do not forget to like subscribe all that youtube stuff until then i'll see you guys in the next video peace out